Hey guys, I'm Erst here. So someone just requested that I do an add-ons video, so I'm jumping right to it, and I'm going to be showing you in this video what add-ons I use, how they function, and why I use them. So before I get started, I just want to say I don't claim the rights to any of these add-ons. I didn't create them. All I do is use them. So having said that, let's jump right into some of my add-ons. So once you hit Escape and you go into the game menu here, you're going to see a little button here and it said it's called add-ons. So basically this will not be here defaultly and what this does is it shows me all my add-ons and I can disable or enable them here and the add-on that allows me to do this is called add-on control panel 3.4. So within the add-on it has a few function sets. You can have different sets of add-ons. For example if you want tanking add-ons on your prop pally you're obviously not going to want them on your discipline priest so you can have a set for your prop pally and a set for your discipline priest disable all enable all very self-explanatory reload ui like if you're fishing i know there's a glitch around i've experienced it my fiance's experienced it if you're fishing and you can't click on the bob you just come here click reload ui and it will fix itself it just basically refreshes the game so having said that, that is add-on control panel. Let's move down. This is probably my most favorite add-on. At least one of them is called Action Bar Saver. And what Action Bar Saver does is if you type in ABS for Action Bar Saver and you go list, as you can see, I have a lot of, you know, specs here. So for Death, I have Frost Blood, Druid, Guardian Balance, and so on and so forth. So for Paladin Protection, which is a spec I'm in right now, what this add-on will do is it will save my bar layout exactly. And I mean like bars you can't see, like the second bar. It will save my prop bar exactly. So on my alt, when I level up every few levels and I get new spells, I just have to do ABS, restore, prop. And it will bring me right to my main paladin's bars. I absolutely love this add-on. And as you can see, I have it for every single class. And if you want to see the commands, just type in ABS, and here you go. These are all the commands you can have. Profile, saves it, restore, it basically pastes your action bars, delete a profile. You need to be on that specific class to delete it. You can rename it. Again, you have to be on that specific class to rename it. And link, so like, for every man for himself, if I went on my Blood Elf Paladin, and I wanted ABS to know that where my Everyman for himself is, I want my Arcane Torrent, I'll do ABS, so it would look like this, ABS link, then I would do Everyman for himself, and then Arcane Torrent. And then ABS will know, actually I think you need to do this, and... Just basically put these brackets here. I haven't actually 100% done this, but I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Anyway, you get the picture. So what that will basically do is it will tell ABS, okay, wherever my Everyman for himself is on my bar, put Arcane Torrent there on my Blood Elf Paladin. Count, toggles, checking if you have an item in your inventory before restoring it. Use if you have disconnect issues when restoring. So basically, if I have my Parachute Cloak here, it will, when I restore it, it'll check if it's still there on that tomb. And macro att attempts to restore macros that have been deleted for a profile. All I really use it for is save and restore. And that is just perfect for me. All right, going back into here. Addy bags is awesome. I love Addy bags. This is it. So it has categories that you can configure in the options. You have quest, trade goods weapon, you have your sets, this is my ret set, you have your miscellaneous, armor, I'm not quite sure why these are under armor, but they are, consumables, potions, food buffs, you know, anything that, you, that can be consumed is here, junk is your hearthstone, every bag I don't have ever used considers your hearthstone as junk, and it tells you your free space right here, it also tells you your currency and your gold. It's awesome, like I know I farm dungeons a lot and I like one pull them, so when I loot, you know, like 50 different things, it'll say new. 
and then I could just kind of filter out what I want and what I don't want. And it's very easy. It's a very manageable add-on. It comes like this. I didn't touch any options. I absolutely love this add-on. I've used a lot of bag add-ons in my day. I am completely, perfectly happy with this one. All right, so going back, we have Auctionator. All right, this is the add-on that's made me a lot of gold. So if we go to the auction, and we come to this page right here, and buy, sell, and more is Auctionator. Buy, you can type in cloth, or we'll do silk cloth, and we'll search for it, and right here, 962 available, Ember Silk, Bolt, 90 available, and Bolt of Ember Silk, 214 available, and if I wanted to buy a Bolt of Silk Cloth, for example, all right, three stacks of 20, 69 gold, this is the item price, the individual item price, so that's cool. In that sense, we're going to remove that. Selling is what I mainly use it for. And what you could do is you can, I don't really have, okay, right here. I alt click an item in my bag. It searches for the item and it posts my item at the lowest price. The reason this is 148 and this is 74 gold is because these are all stacks of one. I have stack of two, so it calculates that. And you just click create auction and it's just really really easy it has made me a ton of gold it's just a really awesome add-on and more as you can see i have a lot of auctions right now but if i want to know if all of my auctions are the lowest i click right here check for undercuts and then every check mark means it is the lowest and every x next to it right here means it is not and at the end of the scan as you're going to see in a minute here it will ask me basically if I want to cancel my auctions so I can repost them. I just leave them just because the auction host, you know, a lot of people are using the one on my realm. So I, I leave them and basically every time I go to my mailbox, I have one, you know, if someone has bought my auctions and I've got a lot of golden mail. So right here at the end of it, it says six of your auctions are not the lowest price. Would you like to cancel them now? You can start canceling if you want to 100% be the lowest price at all times. I just say no, leave them. So that's basically it. Uh, I don't think I forgot anything. Ah, right, okay, right here, full scan. You click this and you go start scanning. It'll just take a few seconds. And what this does is it scans the, uh, the auction database. It says 18,000 auction scan, items added 143 to my database, items updated 4,284, and zero items ignored. So what that means is if I'm out in the world and I want to see, you know, and it blue drops, and I want to see just how much that goes for without going to the auction host, I can mouse over it like this, and I say, okay, well, here's the tricky part. Where it says auction, it says 3 gold, 67 silver, and 53 copper. That is how much one goes for. So if you press Alt, nothing happens. Control, nothing happens. If you want to see how much 10 Elementium bars are going for, press Shift. So 10, as you can see, Vendor times 10 and Auction times 10. 10 is going for 36 gold right now. So that's pretty good. All right, so that's Auctionator. Let's go back in. We have Auto Repair, which I can't really show you. It's just... Anytime you go to a vendor where you can repair, it will automatically repair your gear. I I love that. It's just, you know, it's easier that way. You don't need to think about it. All right, Cleek. Cleek is right here. And this is really, I use this for my healers. I use it for my tanks in some sense. So this is no longer the game. I don't need that. All right. So if I'm in a dungeon and right here I see a warrior pulls a melee mob, Instead of having to click on him, then clicking my keybind for hand of protection, I can just... So, for example, if I'm the warrior, I could just come up here, left-click on my portrait, and he has hand of protection. So you can set this up with any spells. I've actually PvP'd with a fire mage by clicking on people. Like, I would, for example, if I was an enemy, I would click on myself, and I would put living bomb on me. So, it's a very powerful add-on. Uh, in the beginning, I only thought it was useful for healers, but now using it as much as I have, it's 
really good for any class. As a mage, you could put, you know, you could bind slow fall to right click and then just slow fall everybody in either storm. And yeah, you can bind any spell really. It's it's a very neat add-on and it's pretty simple. It's easy to use. All right, moving on. We have crack cooldown. Okay, I've got a lot of questions about this actually. Okay, if I cast my blessing of might right here, this is crack cooldown. It says 59 minutes remaining. It has a green outline that I have that spell on. And I love that because I love knowing if I'm missing a spell, if I'm not missing a spell. Another part of crack cooldown is if I use my Holy Wrath right now. It has a neat little, very easy to see cooldown timer. And as soon as it ends, it kind of shines a little bit. And anytime, as you can see right here, I try and cast a spell, there's a little flash. So that's pretty cool. Also, if you know if you guys are watching, especially PvE videos, you can kind of follow my spells. All right, moving on, we have Easy Mail. Okay, Easy Mail. Easy Mail it goes hand in hand with Auctioneer, just because if you're auctioning a lot, you don't want to manually click on everything. So there's Mark All. You mark everything you want. Oh, what a good video for this! This is all successful auction auctions. All right, perfect. So clear all if you don't want to take everything, but we're gonna mark all, we're gonna get attachments. And there we go, another part of easy mail down here. It tells you just how much gold you've gotten. So in that auction, I've made 277 gold, 44 silver, and 93 copper. So that's pretty good. And all right, moving on. Let me just go down here. My kind of my spacebar kind of freaked out on me. Sorry about that. All right, my mount has a mind of its own apparently. All right, moving back, moving on. Gem helper. I often forget about this, but it's actually really useful. Just type in gh slash gh, and it brings up this little menu here. For jewel crafters, you can actually use this to craft. So I use this filter by socket. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just, if you want to see a blue socket, you have all the gems. Uh, I don't use that one. Filter by material. Again, this is more so for jewel crafters. If they say, okay, I have a primal diamond, what can I make with that? It's also pretty self-explanatory. But as a general rule, I use filter by stat statistic. Easier for me to say. Um, so as an example, if I wanted a, okay, I'm prot. If I wanted a dodge and mastery gem I just click on those and basically right here here is all the dodge and mastery ones if I wanted to let's see if I wanted to see if I have materials on me just click right here and I have none on me so that's that it's a I personally like it just so I don't have to go to the auction house and wait and you know sit there for half an hour looking for the gem I want I could just see right then and there all right, add-ons. Going back, we have minimap button frame. This is my best friend. I love this thing. Right here, I do not like, because I have major OCD, as you guys should know by now, if you've watched my videos, I have absolutely major OCD. Like, if I change a spec on a character, I have a panic attack for like three days. Um, anyway, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> I love a clean mini minimap. I love it. So what minimap button frame does is it takes anything that would be around my minimap and puts it in this movable little neat little box and I just keep it right there. And you can, you know, you can close it by right clicking. You can open it, but because it's so small and I don't use that many add-ons that are around my minimap, I just keep it down there. All right, let's go to back to add-ons. We have NPC scan. If you're a hunter, I think this is absolutely necessary all right so if you want to know where skull is or where you know Durky is this is what NPC scan does it'll tell you so Durky down here bottom left as you can see I can't really go over it because it'll move it says Durky and orange so you find the orange spots okay he spawns here 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 all right, so that's where he spawns. And when you go over it, if he's there, your screen will flash, an icon here will pop up, it'll make a really big, you know, horn noise. There's no way you're going to miss him if you're looking for him. So that's what NPC Scan does. 
and NPC scan overlay is basically the once you're hunting for a rare right here it'll show you the path on your minimap all right questomatic I cannot live without this add-on questomatic is basically it auto picks up your quests it auto turns in your quests like if you have one quest giver like 10 quests you have to click on him once and it'll turn all your quests in and you know if you have a quest giver that has three quests it'll automatically pick up all three quests so it's it's, it's not a needed quote unquote add-on however i cannot live with it uh sorry <laughs> i cannot live without it it is is absolutely an amazing add-on and i just quest so much and you know especially on lower level tunes it's just it's just a very easy add-on it was just it's just a helpful add-on it's an awesome add-on all right reforge tool tip if i mouse over my gear right here you see reforged at the top right under it says shoulder uh soul bound shoulder and plate right under that it says reforged 70 expertise to 70 mastery that's all this add-on does that's it it just tells you what you reforged to and if i mouse over someone else's gear it'll tell me that so it's a really really neat little add-on i really like it I love knowing, you know, I'm a statistics kind of guy. I love knowing, okay, what do I need and on what piece of gear do I need it? All right, so going back into this. Reforginator is absolutely, it's just an awesome add-on. Now, what this does is it will tell you what to reforge to. So if I am in, let's say just for the sake so you guys can see, if I am a holy paladin, and I want to reforge for player versus player, this is what I need to reforge to. Even though I don't have Holy Pally gear on my guy on my main. But um that is basically what the add-on does. Now if you have customly reforged certain items and you don't want this add-on to touch those items, just say leave reforged items alone and that, as you can see a few items have disappeared. But what I do is I just go prot, consider reforging anything, and reforge for rating. So that's what that add-on does. All right, let's go back. Scrap is a auto-selling add-on. It is extremely useful. I love it because, like I said, I run you know I run raids a lot. I solo raids a lot. I solo dungeons a lot. I farm. You know I'm I'm constantly on the world doing something. So when right here under junk there's like you know a hundred things what i'll do is i'll just click on him and what will happen is my gear will automatically get repaired from auto repair the item we spoke about earlier and all the junk quote unquote the gray items will get sold automatically or if i drag if i on this character if i keep getting pyrite or and i don't want it i want it to automatically sell it i would click it and drag it onto the scrap button or drag it in here drag it to the junk uh, tab or useful tab right here so that's what that on does it's very very awesome I I love it and all right let's go back to our little a little rooftop here all righty Scrap Merchant, Option Spotlight Visualizer, those are just the options for them. Alright, so last add-on and possibly most important for most, most players out there is called Scatter. Oh, perfect, I have, a, I have a list here to show you guys exactly how this works. Alright, so if you right-click on the top right here where it says Scatter Fights, you go back to this. So... Basically what this is, is, is this a healing, DPS, damage taken, it's just a meter add-on. So what I mean by that is if we go into total, we could see buff up times, CC breaks, who broke CCs, DPS from everybody, damage from everybody, damage taken, damage taken by spell, how many deaths we had, debuff times, and you could scroll down and you could just see a lot. Over healing, mana gained. So that is this add-on. So basically, if we go to damage, and we're like, okay, well, we want to see what the main damage of this shaman was. So we left-click on the shaman. 
Alright, so his main damage was Lava Burst for 19.8k of his damage was from Lava Burst, and it was so that's, sorry, that is how much damage he did with Lava Burst, 19.8k, and it was 48.4% of the damage. And we could just keep going and going and going. And if we go to heal, healing, we can see, okay, well, all this person used was Prayer of Mending. So that's what this add-on does. It's really, really cool. I usually sit in total and damage, because you can see the DPS in brackets here. And I think... That is it. Yep, that's all the add-ons I use. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you guys have any questions about the add-ons, if I didn't answer them to your liking, please, please, please don't hesitate to leave a comment underneath. And, yeah, I think that is it. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed it, if, if, if you found it entertaining, if you learned anything, if it helped in any way, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It would greatly, greatly, greatly help me. And as always, happy hunting until next time, guys. Thank you very much.